Oh my God, that is so good. Hey, Dave, this new sustainable thing where, where all of our pizza is fresh, it's unbelievable. We're almost out of rockfish. Uh oh, we're out of rockfish? I know. Can you go get me some more? Is I it, need it right away. Is it selling that well? It's going crazy. This is our best set. It's better than Monty Taco. I gotta go stay on the rock. I gotta go to Alaska, Bill. Please. All the way to Alaska? Hurry. Okay. All right. All right. If you need it that bad, I'll go right now. Hi, I'm Duke. We're going rockfish fishing on the Morona. I can't wait. This rockfish is so amazing. You will not believe how good this is. I can't wait to bring it back for you. Now, rockfish are a very intelligent fish and they generally don't um, take bait, at least, at least around here. They, they will a little bit, but you can't catch them in commercial qualities. Ah, that's uh, so interesting. You have to mimic a, a school of forage fish and they'll hit on that. Um, when they're ready. The rockfish are so intelligent that once they figure it out and they quit biting, then you just have to move because uh, they won't keep moving. They're not like cod where you can just keep baiting and, and throwing it down, keep baiting and they'll just keep hitting the bait. Yeah. So what do they think they're biting on when, when, they, when they, they're on the hooks? I mean, when they see the hooks or do they see them? Or can you tell they see them? Oh yeah, don't no, they see them. They think they're um, what we call candle fish. Oh, the, or, oh, I see. So they get confused. Um, they think they're in. Oh, okay. Yeah, they think they're a small forage fish. But once the game is understood by them, they're gone. It, it's it. So that's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here we are in the middle of nowhere out here in the ocean. And you can see the backdrop, these beautiful mountains. We're out here getting rockfish. And there is hardly anyone in the world that gets a chance to do this. I am so lucky, I'm so fortunate, that I'm going to be able to bring back some of the greatest tasty fish, this incredible rockfish. But this is what you got to do to get this stuff. George, you know, check this. See that? We're, we're dragging on there. Those fish are hit. Oh my gosh. this is a live fish. <laughs> Just captured. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Hey, do you want some rubber gloves? No, it's okay. <laughs> you want these gloves? No, this is good. <laughs> All right, tell us a little bit about each one. Okay, of these. these are the three different kinds of rockfish we fish for here. All right. These are. Uh, these all have been just caught, obviously. This is the black rockfish, sometimes right. called the the black bass. This is a dusky rockfish. And this is a dark rock fish. Uh, these two look very similar. How, how you can tell the difference is this has like a little protrusion or I uh -huh. like to call it a nipple right there. Right. On the end of its jaw, whereas you see the black bass doesn't. Oh, I see. Um, and then of course the dusky, the, the color is... Oh, look at this. Much different to tell. <laughs> right, these fish are so beautiful. <laughs> and they're, they're really going to taste good. I'm telling you, I can hardly wait. Because you can tell they're alive. <laughs> they're still, they still got life in them. Boy, look at that! Incredible. They really taste good, don't they? Oh, they're excellent. Yes. Yeah. Best eating white fish there, there is. I prefer them to halibut myself. You? Oh, great. Well, yes. We're gonna have a little chance. We're we'll probably taste them later <laughs> on tonight, but uh, our guests are gonna be eating them really soon. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> there you go. Wow. So. God, it feels real meaty and, and firm. Mm-hmm. Oh. That, that's about a four-pound fish. Oh, oh. no, oh. back in the hole. <laughs> so I'm bleeding these and moving these. Stab them right there. Just the blood, blood coming out. And then down to the fish hole. You need to bleed the fish for optimum quality. <laughs> I love coming out here because I get a chance to see how fishermen handle the fish, where they go to catch them, how important it is to them to take care of them. They bleed the fish, they ice the fish, they know how important that is for the flavor. They know the end result is going to be for our guests. That it's going to be incredible. The taste is going to be just marvelous. That's why I come out here. It's, it's such a thrill for me because I know the end result is going to be the best tasting fish you've ever had. Duke worthy fish. That's a nice fish. Nice and meaty. Beautiful rockfish. 
still pretty much alive. It's wiggling still. It's, it's fresher than fresh. And we're going to take them up in the processing plant out of the out of the ice, process them, fillet them, fry back them, freeze them, send them down. Seattle and my chef, Bill uh -huh. Ranniger, is going to be so happy I brought him some buffer. rockfish because we were running out. Duke worthy fish. This is official. He's now a Duke's Chowder House guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we're going to have some of, some of this rockfish is going to be on the plates of our guests very soon. It's so cool. Duke's chowder is so good, so good, so good right now, so good right now. Give it to me, let me have it, don't deny me, let me slurp it, oh, so good. <laughs>